In a long forgotten part of the earth, a billiard table smooth, scalene triangle of limestone rock, unforgivingly long and unrelentingly steep, lies in wait. Oh my God. No, this is, this is wrong, man. Oh no, 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 no. I have to zigzag now. Right, here we go, kick for the top. <laughs> Spinning. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh... geometry and scale of this rock masterpiece had been calling me for years and now with conditions prime it seemed the time had finally arrived. Now you might well be thinking that something so uniform and uninterrupted to be plain sailing. However, whilst it's true that rock climbing on e-bikes is nearly always a complex puzzle of ever-changing angles, line choice and strategy, this was a very different challenge. This is a slab whose angle becomes more acute the higher you get. Of course, this isn't the first time from wild exposed Welsh granite that'll rip your tyres apart or remote ancient Scottish quartzite that is nearly always wet and breaks your heart. Rocks and EMTBs are purely seductive. The angle, chemical composition, grain size and texture all have to be taken into account. The effect of rain and the sheer length of this particularly freaky rock. And then of course, there's me. I'd arrived in Italy off the back of two months of antibiotics. Let's say my biology was definitely of more concern than the geology. Having hunted down and ingested many remedies unsuccessfully, maybe, just maybe, a touch of nervous anxiety might well be the answer to get things moving, so to speak. Oh Christ, have you seen the scale on that? Oh, <laughs> oh it's, it's not real. It's like Los Angeles airport on an extreme angle. It's, and this could be, this could well be concrete, but this is a pure, pure piece of the planet here. Uh, I won't deny it, I'm feeling a little bit sick at the minute. Um, I think it's the worry of uh, human or mechanical failure because the thing with, with banks is, with gradients is if, if you stop on a mellow gradient, you stop. Whereas when, when it gets steeper, if you stop or something breaks, you're actually going backwards in a split second. So um, I am, I'm genuinely concerned, but the thing, with, the thing with this slope is that it goes, it ratchets up in three different breaks of slope. To have any chance of succeeding, I'm depending on a state-of-the-art piece of machinery. My new Canyon Strive on just so happens to be a consummate up-down machine. A very fine blend geometry when the margins of grip, no grip are fragile. Such things as the chain stay and seat stay numbers contributing to this. But more than the geometry, a suspension design that supports and doesn't drop you in moments of trouble. The extended boost of the Bosch system and that little touch of overrun to catch your breath for a split second. I'm thinking this is where like tire pressure, seat stay angle, chain stay, bike geometry for climbing. This is, this is where it comes into play basically. So I'm definitely gonna be looking for moments of, uh, of seated while I'm climbing the first part. The first part, I mean, it is, it is one, the first part is one of the steepest climbs I'll ever, ever have done. Generally, I'd actually know if I got it in me to get up that last bit. I'm a bit unsure at the minute whether it's anxious, nervous or anxious stress. It's pretty much like a hamster wheel. Once you start, once you start climbing, you can't, you can't coast or anything. You you have to keep. It's a fixed gear. You're you're in it, and that's it. There's there's no escape basically. Just so apologise to the wife if I uh, don't make it on this slab. Uh, hope you've had a nice birthday, uh, and sorry for uh, doing something which you totally told me not to do. To be honest, this is something I agreed with quite a while ago, but I never really wanted to do it. Let's go. Oh man, what am I doing? This is ridiculous. Here we go. So what I'm doing is going across and then I'm gonna turn it up 
Oh, crikey. Right, okay. Right. Okie doke. Right. Oh, crikey, and there she is. Look at that. So my legs, doing the second already. Not ideal. Okay, already zigzagging. Where's my strategy gone? Now what I've learned from riding e-bikes on these slopes is try to let the motor do the work for you. Take a break. Oh heck, it's bloody wind on here. A centimetre forwards or rear makes the difference. Oh, what? Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to check out a second. Let's get ready for this. I might need to camera it a minute. Uh, so now I'm approaching like halfway. I want to give you an example of what's happening now if I go straight. Oh, crikey, right. Seat position immediately changes. Right, okay, this is a different game. I can see halfway. Oh, it's all right, actually. There's the graffiti part. Yeah, halfway now, and there, there it is. Now it's steepening. Okay, I'm gonna check out, I need a breather a minute. By zigzagging, it means that I got more chance if something goes wrong. Entering the third sector, I could see ahead the slope becoming alarmingly steep. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, the wind. Now this is where, guys, sorry, I can't speak. Oh no, this is insane. Oh my God. Right, I'm now. Pouring the brakes. Oh my God. No, this is, this is wrong, man. No, this is up. Oh, oh no, no. Oh. Oh. Spinning. Oh. I can't, I can't. Oh, Oh my God, literally, literally, literally that bush. Oh man, literally that bush. Give me this tree, give me this tree. The last bit, steeper than anything I've ever done. I was really, <laughs> we've done it. I was really conscious that uh, it's so easy to lose traction when you're standing up on the bike. You can't sit down because there's too much weight over the rear. And, uh, oh, I made it. I think, guys, um, I think this, this, you know, previously I've never even thought about doing this kind of thing on a mountain bike, but I think 800 meters to a kilometer of, of just pure beauty on two wheels, I think, uh, in terms of, you know, involvement mentally and physically with a, with a bit of rock. Uh, what a fantastic day. I wasn't saying that earlier, right? <laughs> I was not saying that earlier. Oh, hold on a minute, guys, uh, sorry, stress and the squatting. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh. <sighs> 